So, how's it going guys? My name is Maxi and uh, welcome to another League Racing video. Today it's round 8 of FQ at uh, Netherlands. You might notice that I have missed a round. That was round 7 at Vegas. Um, I missed it just because uh, my recording software wasn't actually working and uh, it recorded very shitty. It was like 2 FPS. Um, uh, it, do it doesn't like the night races for some reason, I don't know why, uh, but today we are here in the Netherlands, here at the Drivers' Championship at the moment, and uh, going into this, I was not the fastest man, uh, my personal best was, I think, 108.671, uh, so I expected a decent result still, I expected, um, like a top 4, because, um, you know, this league has a few very quick drivers and then a few midfield drivers. You can see it in the standings. There's four of us on top and then the rest are kinda. Kinda just there, but as we head on to our first lap of the weekend, we are the first car out of track. I wanted to go and set a benchmark. If we head into turn one, I'm <laughs> taking it really, really cautiously. I I took it way too cautiously through there and then I pull over push and go on the curb. That's gonna lose me a lot of time. It's a bad line through the banked corner. And uh, that's overall just a very, very poor sector one. And uh, I was getting way too nervous here. Wide on this corner as well. I was My heart was beating so fast for some reason. I don't know why. But I was getting way too nervous for this run. And this, this lap was just pure, like... Nervousness. I just couldn't hit any apexes. I couldn't get any lines correct, and it's it was just a disaster altogether. But that is why I wanted to go up first. I wanted to see the pace, and the pace was not there on this first run. As we go to the final corner, we're gonna go fastest. It is going to be a 109.0. Not the best lap, but um, it does put us into a P3 provisionally um, behind Toby and Simo then so we go on to our second lap then and uh, turn one we're gonna lose a bit of time but this is what we can gain it and uh, we are gonna gain a bunch on the exit there about one, a half a ten there on the exit as we then power down to this rest of the sector one we are purple in the first sector, but there is a bit of traffic ahead of me. There's Harrison right in front of me, and he lags a little bit, and that's just going to put me off, and I'm going to go wide. Lucky to keep it out of the wall there. We're going to go for a second lap in a row. As you can see, we are almost two tenths up, two purple sectors, but then we run out of ERS. On to run up the line, and you can see how much time we bleed. Almost one and a half tenths, and we're just about improving, but it's not going to be good enough I'm gonna go on our final lap then we're P4 provisionally actually P3 still provisionally as we start our final lap we need a big improvement here but for some reason I just cannot hook a lap together here um, at all really I mean I know this I know I have two tenths in the final sector on the straight alone but like I just couldn't hook a lap together through the first sector I'm down on my delta about 3 one hundred a second. Take that curb. Take this curb. That's going to lose me about one tenth of a second. It's so much time lost throughout this whole uh, complex of corners. I'm about a tenth down heading into sector 3. One and a half tenths maybe. And I need a big improvement and it's just not going to happen. Into sector 3 I go on a little bit early and I go on to the gravel. One and a half tenths down can, uh, we will gain some back on this straight we will gain a lot back we will actually improve on this lap but it's not a good lap it's still a 1090 and we don't even get into the 108 we're gonna start from p5 it's gonna be five flights are up 25 laps around zandvoort we're the first one to start on me mediums they're all top four is on soft slice out and away we go we get a good start but I decided not to go for the move on Simo because he's on the soft compound of Iris and there's no reason to go for a move into turn 1 around the outside there. It just wouldn't make any sense. We're going to go high route 
onto the banked corner. We're going to get a good exit out of it. I'm not using any ERS at all. Because I don't want to make a move ahead. Ardas is going to be behind us on the minimum tires. We're going to have to look out for him. As a top four get on their way. They're all on soft compound tires. So they're going to be pulling away from us in this early st early stint of the race. But we are going to hopefully come back at them on the soft tires later on. As uh, there is yellow flags behind us soon enough. <laughs> Whenever uh, it's not yet okay, I'm uh, a bit early. Uh, a bit early, I was on that call, but now there's yellow flags behind us, and now there's going to be a virtual safety car that's gonna last exactly one lap, and we are going to go back racing on lap two. As we get back racing, there's a big crash ahead. There was a problem with the delta time of the VSC. We almost cr go into the back of Simo as well. We have to lift. Mentos is front wing damages, that's gonna promote us right into P2. Right into P2 as Ardas also gonna go for a move on us. I'm gonna go for the, gonna go for second place. We are going to settle for third at this point. I know I don't have too much pace, but we are now third. And at this point I was like, okay, I have a podium secured. Because those guys who got caught up in that are going to be behind and now it's gonna be a safety car a full car safety car and you can see I thought about going to the hard compound tires here I wanted to do the rest of the race on a hard compound tire and I was looking at the two guys in front whether they won't go into the pits Ardas not going into the pits Simo Simo will go into the pits where I decided last minute to stay out even though that fucked us in Vegas, I'm going to stay out. And uh, as we go back racing then, on lap 6, as there was a bit of a safety guard glitch, Ardas goes, but then he doesn't go. And Harrison almost runs into the back of me because of that. It might have been a throttle glitch there. But then we are underway. I get caught napping a little bit, I must admit, but it's fine. Because we will stay with Ardas here. You know, we will start to create a gap behind Harrison, not quite on our pace here today. And we are just gonna go, me and Arda is gonna start trading faster slaps. We are going to be 1 2 on lap 11. As uh, Harrison a little bit behind us now, 2.7 seconds. The gap behind, and Simo is somewhere in the pack making his way through. He pitted for the medium combat tire, so it's gonna be a long way to home for him. As we are going to go for the move on our ass now on to lap 12 for the lead of the race. I, I want to try leading this train for now. I want to check my pace. But then <laughs> immediately on lap 13. I can see that my pace isn't enough and I just let our ass back through to tow me along. You can see Harrison gained on us through on that lap. So my pace definitely wasn't good enough on the mediums to pull away. But I was it was good enough to stay within Ardas's DRS and for him to pull me along. Then on to lap 14, Ardas into the pit lane. We're going to keep going. Ardas going to go on the soft combatant tires. Or on the hard combatant tires, sorry. And he gets a 5 second time penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Kind of like me in Brazil. Um, and we go into the box the lap after. And we're going to be so close to getting a penalty. 54 kilometers an hour. Look at me. I'm so happy I didn't get a penalty. Because that could have been disastrous for a race. We're gonna go on the softs. Ardas went on to the hard combat tires. And the 1 2 is Toby on old hards. And uh, Simo on old mediums. And then third is our teammate Mike. Nick Furyman, who's boxed early for mediums. He's on in third. He's gonna bring home great points for the team. If this is how it stands. But we need to now, with Ardas, work together. Even though we have different tires, we need to work together to catch up to the leaders. And that is exactly what we're going to do. Ardas going for the move on my teammate then on lap 18 into turn 1. Mike can't defend it on those old mediums against new, new hards and that is a move done for Harrison that I, or not Harrison, to, for Ardas that I also need to get done. And uh, remember that Ardas does have that 5 second time penalty that he will serve at the end of the race so we don't need to overtake him. We only need to stay within 5 seconds of him to stay ahead. And uh, as we go through sector 1, 
Um, we're closing in on Mike, who's going to let us past. Mike is an amazing teammate. He gave me a big toe in Vegas, but I didn't couldn't make a video of that. Mike is the best teammate I could have asked for in this league, honestly. He's a legend. Let's us by easily. And uh, then on to lap 21, we've been catching the leader of Toby for the past few laps. Simo had to box for another set of mediums. His mediums weren't weren't good enough they they just wouldn't go to the end wouldn't go the distance we're gonna try to go for the move on Ardas here because he doesn't have TRS yet on Toby but I want to get the move done just so he doesn't get away we're gonna go on the cross a little bit and that's gonna compromise my exit as well and we're not gonna get the move done on to Ardas and then on to the end of lap 25 and Ardas really close to Toby now and he might just make the move he might just make the move and run away and get the 5 second gap. We need to stay here and we need to get through with him. Ardas down the inside. He's going to tag Toby. And Toby's going to go a little bit wide. We're going to sneak down the inside. And that is the perfect situation for us. That is the perfect situation for us. Because for now, all we need to do is hang with Ardas for this last two laps. That's all I need to do to win a race finally in FQ. It's been so close. It was close in Brazil. It should have happened in Brazil, it should have happened in Abu Dhabi, but now all we need to do is stay within Ardas, within 5 seconds of Ardas, and look at how close we are, we are on the better tire as well. We could even go for an overtake, but I decide against it, every fiber of my being wants to go for an overtake to win this on track, but I go against it, I go against it, just and just stick with him. I don't want to make a risky move that could end up in me spinning and losing a position. There's only one more lap, one and a half laps to go. Only these last few corners, there's a retirement. Could have been a red flag, wasn't a red flag, luckily for us. Oh, that's five seconds. Time will be added to the end of the race and we are within that five second gap. One more lap. I think you can, at some point, you can see me mouth to myself, one more lap and you're a race winner, one more lap and you're a race winner, because this meant a lot to me, I've been fast this whole game, but I've almost always been bottling, always been failing somehow to win a race, but now it was only one more lap before I become a race winner in FQ Racing League and I, I'm gonna close the gap in the championship by a mile. You can see Ardas flashing, he has no ERS, we have little ERS left as well. But uh, I think we had more at this point. We have over 10, he doesn't. And uh, onto this the other straight, I definitely could have gone for the move. If I really wanted to. If I could have dumped all my ERS and gone for the move, but I didn't want to go for the move. Because I knew only these corners were left between me and a race victory. Ardas has driven brilliantly today, get me behind. Whether involuntarily or not. But he does have that 5 second time penalty, I know how that feels to lose because of a 5 second time penalty. Ardas will cross the line first, but we are a race winner at FQ, and you can see my reaction. I had to kind of silent scream because my uh, <laughs> parents were asleep at this point. But like, I kind of had to silent scream to get all of my dopamine out. And at this point, I'm also celebrating Mike's P4 for Haas. That's, um, that's going to be huge in the Constructors Championship. We come up to P2 in the Constructors. And we are only 20 points behind Simo in the Drivers' Championship. And that is literally the perfect race for us. And as you can see, it does mean quite a lot to me. Um... Especially after all of the bottles, all of the hardships that I've gone through. It means so much to me that I finally actually win a race. And, uh, yeah. I'm still so happy that I won a race. And now I'm not done here. If you thought I was done here, I'm not. I've got the taste of victory. I'm gonna go for it again next week in Miami. Then I'm gonna go for it again and again. And I'm not gonna stop until I win a, a title with FQ or any other league. That's my goal for this game. If I don't win a title, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a failed season for me. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment down below what you want to see next, and yeah, enjoy my face fading away slowly. As I say, goodbye and thank you for watching.